Hey guys, today we're gonna go through some of our holdbacks, uh, specifically ones that we got from Justin Kavelka and Bob Vu. Um, also, we're gonna go through the candy gene because we had some questions about that. And we're also gonna go through some mail that you guys sent us. Uh, so stay tuned. Another update from Justin Gabelka's snake that we got down from when we visited his collection. Uh, make sure you guys go check out that video. It uh, was a really awesome time. Justin has unbelievable, very beautiful animals. And we did a bit of what did we buy. So uh, this is an update on the snake that we got from him. This is a black pewter butter coral glow het clown female. So that would be a pastel black pastel butter coral glow 100% het for clown and she's gonna just be a smoking hot powerhouse female for us that will be breeding to a visual clown probably with something else in it maybe a visual clown het for something else we haven't decided but we still have a bit of time um, she's about 350 400 grams maybe a little bit more and uh, growing really well eating really well we just could not be happier and thank you so much again Justin for this great opportunity and a super fun time but unbelievable just beautiful snake and here's a little update on our pastel Lori female that we produced a couple years ago she's a breeder size now She's pairing for the first time this year. Look at that, like green that bleeds down onto the stomach. Such an interesting look. It's, it's kind of yellowish. It's yellow green. Looks green to me. Anyway, it's a beautiful animal. We're pairing her up with a. Uh... Oh wait, which one was it? Has the Lord Hindu Mama? No. the Enchi Banana Lori. Oh snap. Enchi Banana Lori. So hopefully we hit Pastel Enchi Banana Super Lori's. That'll be interesting. <sighs> Mind blow. So yeah, that'll be really cool. Definitely excited about this girl. Man. Hopefully she's developing follicles. We need to buy an uh, ultrasound then. So guys, uh, we got a couple comments about the candy gene. Ryan posted on Instagram a picture with the candy gene. Let us know if you think it, that it got a lot of likes because of he had a green glove on or if it was because of the candy gene is such an awesome animal. Um, this is the candy gene. We decided to showcase it a little bit. One of our friends from Instagram actually messaged us and said, hey, why don't you showcase the candy gene? So this is a candy het pied. It's 100% het pied. And uh, it's just like albino, but it's lavender in the where the whites would be. So you can see the, the dark purplish color between the pattern. They tend to stay a bit more, um, they tend to stay a bit more colorful like this and contrasty as they age, which we really enjoy. They are the compatible. Look? They are compatible with Albino. How's the underbeard look? The underbeard. <laughs> hey, um, they are compatible with albino. You can see it's a bit dirty here, but it's very, very stark whites around the even the lavender pattern, um, the color there on the belly. They are compatible with albino, uh, but we don't cross them. We don't mix them. They can make a candino, is what it's called, and uh, this one is. 100% het pied like I was saying so a lot of times the het pied one of the things that it does is it'll darken up things a little bit and uh, This is just a very very beautiful example of a candy And I think that it's just slightly darker than normal just because it has that het pied um, But what a beautiful animal we are going to be mixing it with pied obviously and candy is a recessive gene um, just like a lavender albino or albino and uh beautiful animal so make sure you guys follow us and we'll show you as this guy grows up as well as we have a bunch of other het candy stuff het candy pied stuff and uh yeah hopefully we'll be producing some really cool animals 
Side note, when those hatch out, they, uh, the lavenders look white, so they look just like, almost like a normal albino, and the color develops over time. So this just in. <laughs> yeah, that's a nice shirt you got on there. Yeah, hardwired exotics, that's Ooh. right. Thanks, Tony Thomas. What up? Okay, this is brought to you by Hardwired Exotics. Hopefully we'll be producing some of these uh, in the next maybe year and a half. We're still a little ways away. But it's another project. Gotta love them all. We at r and Reptiles would like to take a moment to thank all of our Patreon members. Our newest member, Eric Robichaud, we just want to say thank you. And hopefully one day we can meet you all. And also, thank you for all of our Buy Us A Coffee supporters. We really appreciate you, and we appreciate you helping us throughout our journey. You guys might remember that we did a What Did We Buy episode with Bob Vu over at Bob's Balls. Um, if you don't, check out that video. Uh, maybe we can put one of those info cards up with it, Ben. Yeah, no, no. no. Just kidding. Just go looking. <laughs> but and it, this is the animal that we picked up from him. Is a beautiful pastel banana clown female. And she is just so vibrant. Like these lavender, almost purple dots. Very beautiful. She just shed, so we figure we'll show her off real quick. Bob has a lot of really awesome animals. So you should go check them out. After you check out our tax sale. But, uh, yep, she is getting big, eating like a thing that eats, and uh, doing good. Eating like a weed. Eating like a... Growing like a teenager. Like a mustard. <laughs> eating like a mustard. That's the best you could come up with? <laughs> well, does it not cut the mustard? No. I'm, it's cheese that they cut, right? You can cut cheese. Doesn't do the mustard test. Doesn't pass the mustard test. <laughs> so we got some mail. We're gonna do a quick mail call. Uh, we uh, should have probably went to the post office a little more often, but we got four here on this one. And uh, Whisk Constrictors sent us something, and um, he's sent us stuff before. Should probably get one of those fancy mail openers. Oh, he has a new sticker. What? So let me make sure that I have. Yeah, we were just hanging out with Billy and he opens these differently. Okay, so he sent oh, us a new sticker. That. Where's our new stickers, Ben? I give them out all the time. <laughs> we need new stickers. Yeah, maybe I should get new stickers. Step up your game, boy. All right, so we're standing in front of the racks that we're finishing up today. Um, reinvented scales. All right. So the way Billy does it. I should probably do it that way. Um, all right. Reinvented, whoop. Oh, now you've Reinvented done that. scales. Watch this. Strike that, reverse it. <laughs> hey! <laughs> Reinvented scales. Nice. Those are holograms, aren't they? I don't know, you're looking at them, I'm not. It looks hologrammy. I don't know. Hologrammy. No, not hologrammy, but they look cool. Thank you. We will definitely be putting these up. Then where's our holograms? Uh, I'm actually gonna get those ones soon, oddly enough. What? And um, yeah. So uh, this one's from Royal Serpents. And I'm gonna try not to rip anything inside, which I did not. Oh snap. Maybe I'll speed this up. Putting trash everywhere. Royal Serpents. Thank you. Everyone here at Royal Serpents Exotics wants to send you an astronomical thank you for your continued love and support 100%. Uh, be sure to keep an eye out for our new content. Stay blessed. Deneen and Jen. Or Denny, maybe? Denny. Denny and Jen. Denny and Jen. <laughs> I said that wrong. All right. 
<laughs> Sorry, thank you for your support of us too. Um, all right, so here's their stickers. They look pretty cool. I like the design on the one, Royal Serpents. Wow. I mean, I like them both, but. Those are fancy. This one on your right looks awesome. Hmm. Man, making me feel bad about our stickers. We need better stickers. The heck? <laughs> I look at uh, a lot of the stamps, because I <laughs> told you guys before that I'm really into the stamps for some odd reason. And Ian Bissell, he sent us from uh, S and J Reptiles. He sent us one with a frog stamp on it, which is kind of what we do sometimes. Um, I have a few. You put this in a piece of paper with no note. Thanks, Ian. Just <laughs> I, should, I usually don't do notes. He gives us a couple business cards and a couple stickers. These you don't stickers know his bill. Every blank piece of paper he sends you is 20% off a of purchase. Yeah, you can use those. So you heard it here first. <laughs> All right. So this is uh, s and J Reptiles. This is Ian Bissell um, down in Florida. Pretty big sticker too. Southeast Carpet Fest going on right now. Yeah, Southeast Carpet Fest, we're missing it unfortunately. We're gonna have to do it again soon. He keeps on bugging us to do it and, sorry Ian, we'll get there, we will get there. But thank you for the stickers. So thank you everyone for the stickers. And uh, you know, shoot me a message. If I didn't send you stickers already, I think that I sent all these guys stickers already. But uh, if not, let me know and I'll send you some for a trade. So thank you very much and we'll send you on to the next thing. Thank you so much for tuning in today, guys. We really appreciate you taking the time to watch our videos. We also want to thank our sponsor today, Disney. Happiest place on earth. Um, and also, if you haven't already, like this video, share it with your friends, and if you're not subscribed, please give us a subscribe. Subscribe. Give us a subscribe. Bye-bye. Thanks. R&B Reptile <laughs> would like to thank you. <clears throat> um, are we still alive? Mm -hmm. oh. So we could do a Skittles like this is brought to you by Skittles and like taste rainbow. Uh, uh, no? I wouldn't lick it. I just saw a video or a picture of a girl licking a snake today. Just reminded me. Taste the rainbow. Okay. <clears throat> God. Hopefully she's developing follicles. We need to buy an uh, ultrasound, then. I can ultrasound you. No, you can't. Oh. Huh? Yes, I can. Not happening. With a flashlight. It's going to be awesome. <laughs> Ultra high power flashlight. <laughs> It'll burn your skin. Right. So when these guys hatch out, <laughs> it's weird saying it right after you say it. They don't know. You can edit it. I know. Um, <laughs> so... <clears throat> when these guys hatch out, uh, Ryan just informed me that the ben, ben, la just you don't have to tell them that I told you. But I'm gonna put it in the you're, in the bloopers. You're they're gonna know. You're smart. They know. I'm very smart. That's true. Yeah, that's a nice shirt you got on there. Yeah, hardwired exotics. That's Woo. right. <laughs> it's definitely Denny. D -d -d Denny and the Jets. I should have known that. Maybe you could do d -d -d -gen <laughs> the. The, the, the Denny and the Jen. Z Jens. Jens? <laughs> yeah, it's like that cartoon. You remember that cartoon? You know, like, Jen. Is it Jen? Jam? Jen? Jem. Is it cuisine? <laughs> it's the... Is it Tom Cruise from cuisine? <laughs> the, the anime rock and roll girls that were fighting yeah, crime. Yeah, yeah, gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. This is cool. This is a great video. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, maybe we should do something different then. <laughs> we are gonna be reptiles. Does it look cool from right there? Uh, it's different. <laughs> That's real good. All right. Should I get lower? That was like I don't know why you're trying to get so low. <laughs> What's the point of being so low? I'm trying to make you look huge. Do I look huge? You look good, like a giant. We at rope. <laughs> Yo, you could put, like insert like a tiny town at the bottom of the frame here, and you'd be like, "That'd be hilarious." We at R&B Reptiles. <clears throat>
Oh, it's not. It's it's not real smooth anymore. <laughs> no, you you got it. You're good. Okay, you're doing it. <clears throat> we should I put like something in my hand? Yes. <clears throat> good spear. <laughs> we at R and B Reptiles would like to thank all of our Patreon members. Can you see my hand in my pocket? Yes. Oh, you don't want that? No. I don't want to come off as like loosey goosey. I <clears throat> made it to the outro or you did it? I'm doing that. You think you're in the videos all the time? What are you like? The star? That's Pris? I'm just saying that I could also do the outro if you want me to do the outro. I want to do a big shout out to the guy in comments for the last video who called us gay three times in a row <laughs> in eight minutes. I hope you like and subscribe. <laughs> is that a bowling ball shirt earring? <laughs> this is a Death Star. And um, this, wait, no, you can't, Disney's gonna sue us. <laughs> this is a bowling ball and uh, pins. Cause I sure as crap don't roll on Shema Shabbos. <laughs> um, <clears throat> this video is brought to you by Disney, so it doesn't matter. This video is brought to you today by Disney. Catch the rainbow. Oh. <laughs> Happiest place on earth? That's the one. You wanna try that again? Are we still hot? Yeah. I thought I was talking to myself. <laughs> thank you so much for tuning in, guys. We really appreciate you taking the time to watch our videos. We want to thank our sponsor today, Disney. It's the greatest place on earth. <laughs> Happiest place on earth. Don't don't sue us, please. They can't. But send us a cease and desist. We really want your cease and desist letters. <laughs> Alright, you have to do this again. It's too big of a pause. With gumption. Thank you so much, guys, for tuning in today. <laughs> sorry, sorry, sorry. Am I not gumption? I don't know. No, that's good gumption. Just gumption. after the Disney party. Gumped like, up. You're all gumpy.